subscribe. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Stock List. Today is Sunday, June 13th. In today's video, I have two plays for you to put on your stock list for this coming week. Before I go there, let me delve into Friday's recap of the markets. The Dow closed up 0.039% at 34,479. The Nasdaq, they closed up 0.35% at 14,069. The Nasdaq looking strong, still holding 14K, the Nas. The S&P 500 ebbed out another record closed. They closed up 0.19% at 4,247. The S&P made three consecutive winning streak this week. This week will be the last week was the third consecutive up week for the S&P 500. Pay attention to the overall markets. High tides rise all boats. Apple, Apple closed up 1% at $127.35. Please sit tight for Dave Stockless. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Weibo link below. You'll get four free stocks. Trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Weibo. Weibo only the way to go. Number one stock to put on your stock list this coming week. ORPH. This is a BP play. BP is the acronym for bounce play. If I say LT, that's long term. If I say MT, medium term hold. If I say SP, that's a spec play. Please get acquainted to my acronyms. ORPH closed up, I'm sorry, closed down a whopping 55% on Friday, closing at $9.33. On Thursday, this, the stock spiked from four bucks to 77 bucks let me say that again on thursday orph spiked from four dollars to 77 dollars and 77 cents these are the kind of move that could change your life change your portfolio exponentially okay i'm hearing that fda news might be coming out june 17th please put a stock on orph for a bounce play Let's get the tires. They wear a market cap of 195 million. They have 24 million in the float, no insiders. 1% of the float are held by institution and shorts as 0.10% of the float. Their total cash in hand, 727 million. Their total debt is 71 million. Their current ratio is 4.70. This is ORPH. Stock number two to put on your stock list this coming week. Sense, S-E-N-S. -E this one closed up 10% on Friday at $4 and a penny. The volume on Friday, a whopping 160 million. Compare and contrast <laughs> to their average volume of 27 million cents. This one is making higher lows and higher highs. Eight consecutive days of higher lows and four consecutive days of higher highs um let me give you some bearing on their 52 week change their 52 week change is up 903 percent 903 percent that's an excellent move and and their third their 52 week low was 35 cents and their 52 week high five dollars and 56 cents a key price to watch four dollars and 35 cents if it impales 435 this week watch out let's kick the tires they wear a market cap of 1.72 billion this is cents they have 317 million in the float 11 percent of the float are held by insiders 16 percent of the float are held by institutions shorts has 19 percent of the float there's a lot of chatter about this one for a short squeeze. Pay attention. Their revenue is 8 million. Their quarterly revenue growth is 
a positive 7,806 percent. I'll say that again. Sense quarterly revenue growth is up 7,806 percent year over year. Their total cash is 179 million, total debt 60 million, and their current ratio is 12.20. 12.20 SENS. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Petite, where I'll give you my stock alerts. Please like the video. I do a lot of research. Please subscribe to the channel if you're looking for supernova movers early. Dave's Play is the place to be. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow. Set your notification for Dave's Play tomorrow about 7 or 8 a.m. Okay? I'll see you when I see you. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam. Make your next trade your best trade. Today, ORF, ORF, O R P H, they closed up. Before I go there, if you have the wherewithal and the testicular fortitude to trade this one, go ahead. ORF closed up a whopping and eye popping 302% yesterday at $21 even. Okay. The stock opened up at 525, spiked as high as heaven's rooftop. The high was $77.77, a lot of sevens. The low on the day, $4.97. The volume on the day, a whopping 7.5 million. Compare and contrast that to their average volume of a measly 62K, O-R-P-H. Be careful with this one. This one had multiple halts. The company made a statement that they're clueless of the reason for this extreme volatility. Okay? Reminds me of a stock in 2005. Cafe. C-A-F-E. They came. Thank you for watching Dave Natch. I'm out.